What about estrogen and peripheral arterial disease? Peripheral arterial disease, also known as PAD, is when the arteries become damaged over time from the accumulation of plaque and inflammation, ultimately causing symptoms in the upper half of the body or in the lower half of the body. The disease will manifest itself as blockages in the arteries of the neck, the brain, um, sometimes even the kidneys, the legs, and even the heart. Severe peripheral arterial disease can even include aortic aneurysm. An early population-based study suggested women on estrogen for a year or more had a lower risk of developing peripheral arterial disease. But when larger and later trials tested the hypothesis, it didn't pan out yet again for estrogen. In the HERS-1 trial, this was estrogen plus progestin. The risk of PAD events didn't meaningfully change in that group or in the placebo group. The rate of events was basically the same as in placebo. And in the Women's Health Initiative, same story. Combined estrogen and progestin did not have any meaningful impact. There was no benefit. There was no harm. The Women's Health Initiative is testing an estrogen-only trial at this time, and the data is not available yet. So if someone were to say estrogen protects your arteries, well, we don't know that. Estrogen and progestin definitely don't compared to the data that we currently have. And for women who are on estrogen alone, that data is still pending. Estrogen does help with hot flashes. It helps with sleep. It helps with your quality of life and maybe even the mood. But the data for estrogen and peripheral arterial disease is not there yet. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. This helps me build my channel. I'm here to make the medicine make sense.